Um, I have been so scared to talk about this in fear of saying something wrong, but I see now that it is more important that I say something and get it wrong sometimes than not say anything at all. I will start by saying that I stand in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement. To any people of color watching this video, I stand with you. It's important that we don't just stop at signing petitions and reposts and donating. The only way that we are going to overcome racism is by forming habits at home, educating yourself, acknowledging your white privilege. It is not a trend and we need to make sure that we're not just talking about this now and we continue to talk about it. So I wanna make habits that are gonna last for the rest of my life and I wanna keep talking about this for the rest of my life. So I thought that an amazing way to do that would be to start investing and buying products from black owned businesses, which I've never specifically looked at buying products from black owned businesses in the past. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Let's get shopping guys. Influencer, one of the main things that I do on my channel is I support brands and I try out brands So I thought it would be amazing if we could do a video just trying out black owned brands because I have seen an Amazing array of black owned brands. I also saw Samantha Joe doing this which is crazy because I thought of this before um, I saw her video so great minds think alike Samantha. Okay, so I'm gonna start with one of the most exciting things, and I have been absolutely itching to buy this for the last three days, and that is a piece of Aboriginal artwork. Okay, so this first website that I'm looking at is called Artists of Ampler Watcher, and it is a site that sells Aboriginal artwork. It's based in Northern Territory. It's actually a group of Aboriginal people who are making these artworks and displaying them in a gallery, and then you can also buy them online. I've been wanting to get a piece of Aboriginal artwork for a while now, and I was asking my friend Inika how I would be able to get it ethically and be able to make sure that a large portion was actually going to the artist instead of just like the gallery taking all of the money. The best way to do it is to buy from community art centers. And there is just this painting that I've absolutely fallen in love with. And I have this massive wall behind me, which has nothing on it and it really needs some color. I've never bought an original painting before. And this just really resonated with me for some reason. So this is called Sugar Bag Dreaming by Rosie Naguare Ross. Sorry if I butchered that. You can see some of her other paintings. I think she has a really beautiful, unique style. She seems to use a lot of pastels. One of the things I liked the most about this website is you can actually see videos and you can learn about the artist. But yeah, I think Aboriginal artwork is so, so beautiful. It is $827, which is a lot of money, but I see it as something that I'm going to love and cherish for the rest of my life. I'm about to place the order. And that is $827, gone like that. I am so excited to get this and show you guys in part two what it looks like in person. Okay, I think that's enough money spending for tonight because my bank's probably gonna think my card's been stolen, but I'm going to check back with you guys tomorrow morning and show you the rest of the brands that I will be buying from. Okay, it is the next day and my next purchase is gonna be from a girl that I've been following a while on Instagram. She's called Valley Girl Nail Sets. From what I can tell, you can reuse them. They're all customizable. You can change the shape, size, length, and everything to match what you want. She makes all of these handmade, which I think is amazing. You have to measure your own nail sizes. And as you can see, I had quite a bit of trouble figuring out how to do this. I think I already know which ones I wanna get and they're called Gigi. They are 45 US dollars. They have the Gucci symbol on them and they're so freaking awesome. So I'm getting these because I got my nails done and the shellac immediately peeled off right after I got them done. So don't go to Lavender Nails and Beauty if you live in Canberra. <gasps> Was that a ghost? 
yeah, not too happy about having crusty fingernails like that. So when I get these ones, I can just keep on putting them on. I'm gonna select my size and I figured out that my size would be medium. Oh, so you can choose the stripe that you want. I can do green and white or red and white. I think I want red and white. Oh, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go green and, green and red stripe. Yes, short, medium, long. I'm just gonna go long, no square. I assume that that means it's like a coffin shape, not a square shape. Oh yeah, you can choose your shape. <laughs> oh, it means you can't choose a square. We're learning together, guys. Um, I'm gonna go with coffin because that is what, oh, should I go stiletto? I'm just gonna get stiletto. <laughs> she had an Instagram code and it is IG15 and you get 15% off your first order, which I thought was pretty cool. So I'm gonna be putting that in. International shipping is 25 US dollars. It is what it is. And thank you for your order. $95, that's, okay. $95 out of my account, that is not too bad. Wait, so was it in Australian dollars? 95 Australian dollars? I'm really not mad at that. I have purchased the nails. Um, I'm very, very excited to get them and try them on in part two. I also want to mention that last night when I bought the Aboriginal piece of artwork, I got a message this morning from the website owner. Um, and I obviously hadn't noticed that it said 20% off site wide but you had to enter a coupon code and my dumb ass didn't enter the coupon code. So this lady was nice enough to refund my whole purchase, trust me to repurchase it again and actually put the coupon code in. How sweet is that? Like best customer service I've ever experienced in my life. I'm pretty sure that our next purchase is gonna be something along the lines of skincare or candles. I'll see you guys in a second. Hi guys, we're having yet another scene change. Um, it is day three of me filming this video. So it took me a little longer to compile the brands um, that I wanted to buy from because a lot of them do not ship to Australia, which was very sad. But the first website that I'm gonna show you guys is called Gammon Threads, which is an Aboriginal owned business. I think they have such cool graphics. They have really nice big, good quality looking jumpers and t-shirts. I was unsure whether it would be okay for me to buy indigenous merch at first, but I was looking at a interview that the owner and creator of this brand made and she said that she does think it's okay to buy this merch and wear it if you're a white person. For example, this t-shirt says Black Girl Magic. Obviously, you aren't gonna wear a t-shirt that says Black Girl Magic if you're a white woman. Just make sure that you're being mindful of that. It's really just common sense. The jumper that I really wanted to get is unfortunately out of stock. It's this one called the Lovely Hoodie and it says you lovely, which is like Aboriginal slang. Unfortunately, they only had this one in stock in an extra small. I was very upset to see that, but I did manage to get another t-shirt that I did really like. The Keens Curry Tea. I managed to get this in a size large. Typically gone for an extra large because I like an oversized fit. I don't know how many people have curried eggs and if that's a big thing, but we used to have it when I was little and amazing. So that one ended up being 64 Australian dollars and with shipping it was 74 Australian dollars. I also checked and they shipped to America as well. You guys can get it. I'm so excited that I now know of Gammon Threads because I'm definitely going to keep on shopping there. So my next place that I bought from is called Ama Beauty, which is spelled U-O-M-A Beauty. It means beautiful in one of the South African languages, which I think is lovely. I just really like the style of their packaging. I don't know, it just drew me in. Like it's like milk makeup, but with a little bit more spice and color. So what I got from here was, first of all, I got the Say What foundation. I am in need of a new foundation. If you go onto the home screen of the website, it says find your shade and you can actually go through and it says, which skin tone best matches yours? I said, fair lady. Which skin shade best matches yours? I said T1, cause I think that's pretty accurate. And what is your undertone? So I just said neutral cause it's in the middle. And I was given shade T1N. So I added that to my cart. 
Their shade range of their foundation is amazing. This is the Badass Icon Matte Lipstick and I love how they show it on all the different skin tones. That is so helpful. I think this is a beautiful color. It's definitely not like anything I have in my collection. My next purchase was the Stay Woke Concealer, which I got in White Pearl T1 which was one shade lighter than the foundation I got because I do not have any good brow stuff at the moment. I got the Brow Fro Kit. You get three of their brow products. I chose number four for that one, which is a medium brown. It ended up being $190, which was absolutely fine. And then I saw the shipping price. <laughs> now, let me tell you, this is gonna be a theme in this video, the shipping was ridiculous. It cost $42 for shipping. But I really wanted to support this brand. I'm so excited to try this out and I haven't bought new makeup in a very long time. So that's one of my things that I'm most excited for for next time. Okay, after Amma, I went on to Gilawara Arts. So this is all Aboriginal jewelry, I might add. Um, it's designed by an Aboriginal woman. But the thing that stood out to me were these earrings called the Mulliman earrings and they are just gorgeous. So little backstory behind why I liked these earrings so much. When I went to Tasmania, we went to the museum and they had a big section on Aboriginal history, Aboriginal arts that they did. They have a special traditional way of how they put the kelp shells on the string and the necklaces and they just are so intricate and beautiful. Like there's really nothing else like them. So when I saw these earrings, I just had to get them. They're 80 Australian dollars, which for something handmade, I think is an amazing price. They ship worldwide guys. So you can check this out as well if you are from another country. And I'd really recommend you guys to check out their site and see if you like anything on here. My next website that I'm going on is Leha Beauty. They have amazing reviews on their Iden oil, which is like a body oil and their shea butter. And I personally have wanted to try like a natural shea butter for a really long time because I wanted to try a few different things. I got the Leha Discovery and Gift Set, which was 25 pounds. So that came to like 50 Australian dollars and you get a little Iden oil, a little shea butter, and a little queen idea candle, which by the way, I love the design they have on the front of the candle. 100% natural, cruelty free and vegan. That sounds like a dream. So I am very excited to receive this. And my camera's about to die. Okay, we're back. So my next purchase was from Babes and Felines. Other than the Aboriginal artwork, this was the most expensive haul, but that's because I didn't realize all the prices were in US dollars. The shipping was also $50, which... <laughs> but I looked on their Instagram and they're all about expressing curvy girls, very good like tummy tuck clothing. They have maternity wear as well. Not that I need that just yet. The first thing I got was the Mocha Razorback bodysuit, which was 35 US dollars. I just see so many different possibilities for this clothing, which I love. Next thing I got, which I am very excited to wear because it looks like it's gonna be the most flattering thing of my entire life, is the Mocha Wifey Shaping Midi. I love that mocha color. It looks like it's gonna be very flattering for all different skin tones. Next thing I got was the Babes Basic Romper. It was 25 US dollars. I plan on wearing this as possibly like shapewear. And the last thing I got was the special limited tie dye logo comfy jogger. I got the embroidery. You could get Babe embroidered on it as well. $183 for all of it. I love the realistic body standards, real curvy girls wearing badass clothing and looking so confident and amazing and sexy. I was just obsessed with this. I am so excited to get these. Part two is gonna be the best time of my entire life. Okay, I think I need to put my light on real quick because it's getting dark outside. So the final things I got was from a store called Sorella. Sorella Boutique. I've never heard of them before, but they're actually quite popular. So what I got first was the 1999 pendant necklace. It's in gold, my favorite jewelry color. So I don't have many necklaces, but I've started kind of liking to layer them. The only other two things I got were a set and it is the black 
Girls Tour Airbrush Crew Neck and the Black Girls Tour Airbrush Sweats. These were like the most expensive thing on the website. The sweats were a whopping 141 Australian dollars though, which is so over the amount that I would ever pay for sweatpants, but I've never seen anybody wear this brand before that I know of in Australia, so I'm just gonna feel like the coolest chick in town. The shipping was a whopping $44 to Australia. I used the code DRIPPED30, by the way, which got me 30% off, so if that's still working, I would recommend putting that in. But yeah, let's let's have a look through my transactions and see how much I've actually spent. 251, 88, 90 bucks, 234, 348, 27. I didn't realize that I spent $2,000. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking my mom's gonna kill me, because this is my money, but my mom's gonna kill me. I feel so much better spending that amount of money on brands that are actually gonna appreciate it, money that's going to hardworking individuals that are self-made. I just quickly want to show you some of the brands that I was going to buy from, but unfortunately they did not ship to Australia. One of the first ones, which I was so sad when I saw they didn't ship to Australia, was Nicole Lionel. She just does these amazing designs. Oh, there were so many clothes that I wanted to buy from here. They're very reasonably priced. And my heart literally dropped when I saw it didn't ship to Australia. But for people in Canada and the US, you will be able to get these clothes. Nicole, can you please ship to Australia? Some of them were out of stock and that's why I didn't end up buying from them. Shop Matte. I really, really like their style of clothing. They have some awesome stuff. Very sophisticated, but sexy. Unfortunately, the specific dress that I wanted to get was out of stock. Yeah, I really like them. Nola Skin Essentials. They have natural, vegan, cruelty-free products. Really affordable bundle sets where you can get a bunch of products for a very good price. Body by Raven Tracy. I will be buying from, but they just do like awesome trackies, sweat pants sets. They have this awesome red set out at the moment. I didn't think that was quite my style, but then I saw that they were coming out with this yellow tracksuit. I have put myself on the mailing list because I am obsessed with that yellow tracksuit. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get that by the next video if they have dropped it by then, but we'll just have to wait and see. I think that is all the brands that I have right now to show in this video. I really made an effort to look into the owners of each of these brands. I saw independent business women who are so inspiring. It's so much better to support these people rather than these massive companies. I know that I haven't been the best for that in the past and you guys keep on educating me and I thank you for that. If you have any more black owned brands that you'd love for me to try out, then put them in the comments down below. Share any of the black owned brands that you absolutely love. I am so excited to see you again for part two. I don't know how long that's gonna take. It depends on shipping. For a product that's gonna be made better and more sustainable, I am so happy to wait. If you guys haven't already, I would love for you guys to watch my last video after this because all of the ad revenue from that video will be going to charities that support Black Lives Matter. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Please, 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 please make sure to check out all of the links down in the description box. I will of course be linking all of the brands that I mentioned today. I will also be linking some very important resources to show you guys what ways you can support Black Lives Matter and also resources that I think you can use to educate yourself that I have personally found really helpful. And with that, I think Think that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye guys!